Yeah, so this is what we're going to be doing. Uh, this Tony Stark tower. Let me find some reference images here. Mm, Stark tower. Hello, Pratik. And uh, uh, Fame Rolls. Joke, how are you doing? I think this is a good shot that we can pick or pick from so I just have it in a different browser so I can easily switch to it look the nerd I'm okay could you turn on the the ad so we can see the shortcuts oh yeah thank you for that me just yeah, so for there, just uh, can you try to destroy the tower uh, with a missile or bomb? Huh, that's interesting, but I think we have to build it first. So it doesn't look that complicated. So let's uh, get in here and uh, get started with it. I'm also just going to load in some reference images here on Pinterest and Google just so we can have something to work off of if you're able please leave a like and subscribe if you're not a subscriber already it goes a lot to support the channel. Hello, Pacho and Skib. Skib, me. Let's see this as well. I'll subdivide this here. Get my shaders and my 3D view here. Okay, so the designs, the design looks quite simple here. Let's add, let's start with a cube here. Maybe scale it on the x-axis like that. Metal random colors and cavity. <coughs> and um, cavity. Now we can round off uh, this area here. So control shift B. Have something like that. And match those at the center. And then we can extrude this. Something like that. Maybe that's too high. Something like that. You know what would be interesting is uh, to have some textures added to this. So that we can see how this is going to look in the final version. So I'm going to add a new texture. I have some buildings. Let me find. I have some building materials. I'm just not sure where I have them. I think. This could work here, this texture. I think we can use box mapping here or object mapping with a box projection. Just scale this down.
Okay. Uh, then, okay, this is a bit longer here. Then we can use another object to cut this piece here. So if I add a plane, hello Ahmad Amabde, you are always awesome. Thank you. I'm going to scale this up around there. Apply the scale. Now I can build this, Control shift b to have something like that. Just going to increase the resolution just a bit. Have this start from something like that. Mm. So I think it's supposed to be around there. Now we can use this as a boolean. So I'm just going to, and I think I need to make this a bit wider than it is right now. Hmm, let's see, let's see. Maybe not. So I can go. Um, use this as a boolean so we have something like that then I think we can apply the boolean now uh, I can hide this for a moment and pull this down just a bit like that and maybe extrude this out uh, for the landing uh, porch like that. I need to duplicate this at uh, work on this area here. So I just extrude that. This is a bit slanting here, so I can just add that as well. Let's change the color of uh, our glass to have that greenish effect. So. So this part here is also extruded down a bit like that. And uh, this here, uh, we can just, okay, it's also slanting. 
All right, so what we can do is just extrude this up, something like that, and uh, use another boolean to cut out that area. So. So it's something like this and maybe this extends up a bit further like that so let's grab a boolean cut that out and apply the boolean you don't need this anymore I think we can we need to make this a bit wider but I want to retain uh, the curve here so I'm going to scale that back also have this part here so for that let's uh, begin with a cube I think it's still not wide enough as I want it to be so I'm just going to make it a bit wider and just make this then just have this cube I think I have a texture for that so let's find something we can use here for those office uh, textures this could work but uh, let's find something else and see if we can hmm maybe this I think that's better so again we're going to use object texture coordinate mapping and box projection this I think this might look better so let's use that 